Hi, today I'll give you the easiest possible way to start a business. Let's go step by step. Step number one, decide that you want to start a business. That's it. That's all it takes. Just decide that you want to start a business. Step number two, find two co-founders. Take any of your two friends that could be one of your father, one of your uh, mother and take them and they are now your co-founders. That's it. Now take the first character of their names, A, B, and C, and now make them into a company name. X, Y, Z, company name. That's how you take a company name. Next step, what will the company do? Now find out what is it that you have a problem with every day or every week, which hurts you, which gives you pain, which you really want to solve. It could be anger or it could be love, emotion towards that problem. Now that is the problem you want to solve. Imagine that's a problem related to energy. So we will now make an energy company. So XYZ company will mission statement to solve the energy problem in XYZ area or in the world. However, whatever bigger ambition you have, you can put it there. Vision statement. Vision statement is how would you actually do all this? So you put a vision statement that I will do. We will provide XYZ services to solve XYZ problem in the world. Next step, finding mentors. Finding a mentor is one of the most important tasks because you have never done business, you might not know how to do this business and you, so now you are in energy space. So what do you do? You go to Google and you type energy solving companies in the world and you get the top 10 companies now take those names, go into the LinkedIn and put those company names and find the employees who work over there. And then once you have those in the network, then you find the co-founders and the founders and add them on your LinkedIn, add them on your Facebook, add them on your Twitter, so that now you're surrounded by the information generated by these people who have solved these problems before. Once you have a connection with them, you write to them, sir, my name is XYZ and I'm interested in solving this problem. Could you be my mentor? That's, that's all it takes. You just send them a message and then include your Facebook page, your profile so that they can learn more about you. Next step, setting up your social media network. Embracing that you want to start a business is the most important task of the entire process of starting a business. You need good photo shots, you need to go out, get professional photo shots. You need to go out, once you have those photos, you need to go and put them on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, so that people can recognize that this is somebody professional who's trying to do a business. Next step, make a Facebook page, make a LinkedIn page, make a Google Plus page, and go out and announce that XYZ in company is a company which mission statement is this and vision statement is this. Next step, get groups made on Facebook, LinkedIn, and WhatsApp. Make a group on Facebook with the same name of your company, then add all your friends who you think you might be able to do business with or not be able to do business with, just add them all in there. Generate traffic. And then you just announce that this is what you're doing and let them just be there. Make a WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group, same, do the same thing. Uh, XYZ in company, add all your friends inside, and just let them, you know, chat talk to each other then make another group xyz mentors so your co-founders and your mentor should be in that group so that you can collectively learn from each other and then there's less noise in that group make an introduction video make an introduction video of what do you want to do all three of your co-founders should make an introduction video explaining what is your mission statement who are you so that people can feel you people can understand you people can relate to you and then they will support you and do business with you. Next step, make a business card. Take a logo, go to fiverr.com, get a logo made, or make it yourself. Get a business card, put yourself as a name, put yourself as co-founder, put your mobile phone number, and that's it. When you go next time, you go out to meet people, you say, hi, my name is Vihan, and this is my business card. And the, there are two ways to give the card. This is one, and then there's another one like this and don't give out a card like this. Be presentable all the time. That's it, that's how easy it is to start a business. 
Now, some people think that you need to register. Yes, if your government requires you to register a business, you can go to mycorporation.com or any other business like that and register a business there. Um, you can also go to um, liberlandbusiness.com to register a business in Liberland and it's a legal entity which you can start doing business with. If you are a young person, if you are in 6th grade, 7th grade or 8th grade, you can put up your school address with the permission of your principal or your class teacher and then use it as a place of business. You will need a business name when you start accepting checks on the company name. Till that you really don't need to register, you can accept personal um, checks if you can and all this is an exercise to allow you to have less fear of starting a business. Every single thing in the world starts with the belief that you can do it. If you don't believe that you can do it, you cannot do it. This whole uh, video is about encouraging you to start a business and get that fear out of your way which tells you every day that you cannot start a business. Yes, you can. And I'm telling you, you can. Just go through this process. Watch this video again if you want to. Share this video for sure. And share it with your co-founders or the possible co-founders. So let's see what they think should be your business. Have a wonderful day.